In July, several significant events occurred in the construction of the Seoul Marchisana Technological Bureau. On July the 22nd, asphalt paving began. The first to be paved was the area next to the Design and Technological Bureau cargo ramp. Preparations for asphalt laying were made at the main entrance to the building. Wells were installed, the ground was leveled, geotextile was laid, and filling with the sand was performed. Another long-awaited event, the heating main was connected to the central heating main outside the Salmash site. Before that, the entire cycle of works was completed, pipes were laid, they were welded, waterproofed, and the leakage control system was connected. It was also necessary to perform unplanned works to bypass off-site communications, which were laid differently than in the plan. The grounding installation came to an end. All the mains were connected, and the chamber for the cold water supply was installed. The builders started to connect the cold water supply to ensure the fire safety system is operational. A platform was assembled for the installation of ventilation climate equipment, which will reduce the vibration load of the entire building. A trench was created for utilities for exterior lighting. The temporary fence blocks were dismantled. They are gradually being removed from the site. The installation of the temporary road slabs is nearing completion. In the building, work with the engineering networks was also in full swing. Several much employees were installing heating equipment in the individual heating station. It was welded and strapped. Heat networks were installed in the administrative and utility building, and electrical networks were being laid out. A new stage of works started inside the building. Pouring of floors cleared. On the ground floor of the administrative and utility complex it is completed, while it continues in the production building. Beforehand, a special coating was laid under the grid, heat communications were laid, and electricity was wired on the floor. After the concrete is poured, the workers will start installing tiles and interior glass partitions. In addition to construction, Savalmash was engaged in the development and manufacture of machines and tooling, as well as work on an angle grinder. In order to speed up construction and complete the main construction works before the cold weather, Solar Group has launched the Thank You promotion. The promotion includes personalized offers for each investor of the project. Bonus investment shares are accrued in case of early payment of installments, increase of active and paid package, purchase of a new package. And also there are special conditions for new investors – $25 as a gift for the first investment and a high discount for the purchase of shares. Details of the promotion are in the link in the description of this video. Solar Group top managers, represented by Sergei Semenov, CEO, and Pavel Filipov, head of advertising and public relations, went on a working trip to China. The delegation was also joined by Andrei Lobov, director of the production cooperation resource, Indian businessman and project partner Aftar Singh, director of ASPP Weihai and Sovolmash partner Viktor Aristov. On the first day of the trip, the delegation visited the factory where electric motors and handheld power tools for well-known global brands are manufactured. Here the housings for Sovolmash angle grinders will be produced. Samples of parts were manufactured and sent to Moscow with Solar Group delegation. The guests visited the company's head office, product showroom and production facilities. They were impressed by the scale of the plant. The plant is interested in the products with Slavanka technology, because the motors with combined windings will allow, with a relatively small increase in the production costs, to significantly increase the competitiveness of products and get several times more profit from sales. On the second day of the trip, our delegation visited an automobile plant of Beijing Automobile Works. It is one of the largest enterprises of Chinese automobile industry. A few years ago, it launched the production of electric cars. And now the enterprise is interested in the application of Slavanka technology on its electric trucks. We will tell you about the third day of the trip to China soon. On July the 4th, the team of Bajaj Maxima Tuk Tuk with Slavanka Moda finished at the Almaty Arena Ice Palace and finished its participation in the Sunmobile race across Kazakhstan in fourth place. The journey lasted 24 days. The tuk-tuk covered about 3,000 kilometers across the desert and foothills. There were many tests during this time, but the motor showed itself from the best side. It worked reliably and without surprises. It pulled the heavy tuk-tuk on solar energy alone. On July the 1st, 
Solo Group opened a new national representation in Africa. Mali joined the project. The national partner in this country is Jean-Luc Weber, who also represents the company in eight other French-speaking countries. Regular offline presentations and other tasks will be carried out in Mali to help increase the number of participants and investors and accelerate the development of the project in the country. The representation in Mali is the 28th in the world. On July the 8th, Solar Group opened an office in the city of Ganiwa, which is located in Côte d'Ivoire. The opening was visited by 50 people and a TV crew of Business24 TV channel. This activity shows the great interest in the project and the need for an office. The guests were addressed by the national representative Gilles Weber and the leading partners in Côte d'Ivoire. The Solar Group partner team will hold regular project presentations and meetings for partners in the new office. This approach has already shown its effectiveness in Abidjan and other cities around the world.